Andy is looking for a second date update with a lady named Lauren. Hi, Andy. How are you? Uh, could be better. I'm sorry to hear that. Does it have anything to do with uh, this Lauren person you reached out to us about? Yeah, pretty much. Well, let's start from the beginning. Tell us how you met Lauren, how the first date went, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. All right. Well, I met her on Hilly, and I I really liked her. You know, I thought this was it. You know, I, I've been dating for the last two years, and, you know, I've, I've had some luck here and there, but this was like... By far, like the perfect match, like hands down. So I decided. What, what, you know what, what made her the perfect match? Like what defines? She checked the perfect off match? everything off my list, you know, of what I was looking for. Yeah. And we just had a great connection. So I was just like, you know what? Look, let's go out. So we went for drinks, and that went really well. We, we went out for dinner, you know, ordered some stuff. Afterwards, we went for a really nice walk. We had great conversation. You know, we had man, the connection was fire. You know. And I can tell, you know, she was into me. Obviously, you know, I was really into her. And when we were walking, you know, she was all over me. We got back to my place and she just not, I couldn't even get in the door. She was basically like attacking me. You know, it it was hot, you know. Nice. Yeah, it it was passionate. You know what I'm saying? Like all up on the wall and everything. And, um, you know, she stayed at my place. Listen, I, I, I did my part to make sure that, you know, she had a good time, you know. And, um... She didn't stay the whole night, but, you know, she stayed till pretty late. Afterwards, you know, she said, you know, goodbye. We hugged, we kissed, and I told her, listen, you know, I'll hit her up later on. Like, I'll text her, and she said, yeah, cool, no problem. And then that was it. I texted her twice the next day, didn't hear anything. I, I called her the day after, and then I texted her two more times throughout the course of, like, a week, and uh, I... Just never heard from her. She never got back to me. So I'm hoping you can figure it out. She said, yeah, cool, no problem. Hmm. Not like, not in your wildest dreams, you jerk, or keep dreaming, buddy. Nothing like that. Huh. Yeah, cool, no problem. That's the weird thing. I don't know. It's like I'm speechless. I guess when you know, you know, right? Yeah, I yeah. So I hope hopefully you can figure it out. All right. Um. Why don't we do this? Why don't, why don't we take a break here? Because that's a pretty pretty complete description. I don't have any follow up questions unless you guys do. No, I think you covered it. So, uh, <laughs> and you're sure she had a good time? Yes, yeah, she had a great time. They yeah. had a connection, Jen. I mean, she was ripping Sounds ripping like his clothes off when they well, walked into the house. I mean, makes me wonder if that's all she was looking for. If it was just um, one night of that, and then then she was done. But you know, we just don't know. <laughs> Love them right. and leave them. All right, well, let's take a break and figure it out. We'll uh, we'll call Lauren and see what she thought of Andy and whether or not she felt the same connection he did as Second Date Update continues next with Jeff and Jen here at Cincinnati's Q102. All right, Andy met Lauren on Hilly, and after some back and forth, he really got a sense before they even went on the first date that she might be the one just because of how well they connected. Uh, the great convos they had online, so they hooked up for, well, I'll get to the hookup part here in a minute, but they got together, had some drinks, did dinner, and she must have really been into him because she's, like, ripping his clothes yeah. off, and they're having this Threw wild... him up against a wall. Oh, That's yeah. the kind of night you want to have, though. You know, Definitely. when you meet someone, it feels like it's right out of a movie. You're, like, hot, heavy, all over each other. Because yeah. when, you, when, you, when you're in that space, that's when, like, just mammal instincts take over and yeah. awkwardness goes away. Right. You yep. don't care. Mm-hmm. You just don't care. Yeah. Well, that's kind of how it went down. And, and of course, you know, Andy is hooked at this point. It's like, I want to see you again. And she said, yeah, cool, no problem, or something <laughs> to that effect. And uh, that was that. That was the last time you ever saw or heard from her again, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So unless there's something else you want to add, anything else you think we need to know? No, no, that's it, man. That's all you need. That's it. Okay. Hi, is this Lauren? Yeah. The legendary Lauren. Ooh, Good morning. Lauren. <laughs> Good morning. We've heard all about you. <laughs> Wait, who is this? It's Jeff, Jen, Fritch, and Tim at Q102. How are you this morning? We'll get you on speakerphone. Hi. Oh, my God. Good morning. <laughs> Jeff and Jen. Hi. <laughs> Are you serious? Is this real, you guys? <laughs> it's it's all four of us. How are you? 
Wow, um, I'm doing good. How about you guys? Great. Thank you for asking. I like that she's answering and happy. She seems happy to hear from us. Yeah, she's yep. not hanging up on us. Right. Or- I'm just trying to figure out what I won. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. don't hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to that, we want to talk about one of your, I'm sure you have many admirers out there, but one in particular is a guy you saw recently by the name of Andy. Uh, oh. What? There's that collective grunt. There's that groan. This is like this is second date update, isn't it? It is second date update. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, um, was it was it just a one night stand? You rip the man's clothes off and then leave him. <laughs> you clearly got one side of the story. Um, <laughs> this is this is like really weird and creepy. I honestly like I don't know what to do or what to think, but. I guess everybody's got their thing and it's just like a matter of finding that one person that you're cool with their thing. So basically I just, I'm not cool with his thing. His thing, (laughs) he's got a thing. His thing is not for you, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like as you heard, when we got back to his place, I'll be honest, I was really attracted to him and I just, I I went, went for it. Like I was feeling myself. I felt confident. I basically ripped off all his clothes Mm-hmm. And while I was doing that, I noticed that he was wearing some kind of underwear with like a, I guess, like a print design on them. And in the heat of the moment, I didn't think anything of it. Like I was into it. I was feeling, I was like, this is weird print design. Keep it moving. But later, when I noticed that there was a pile of clothes on the floor, and in that pile of clothing, there's a bunch of Disney princess underwear all over the place. Like, I am not sh- you. I don't know if they're women's underwear or if they're like little girls' underwear, but he was literally wearing Little Mermaid underwear while we were hooking up. So and he was we- he was wearing the underwear then. Yeah, it was his. Like when I was hooking up with him, I saw printed underwear. Then in the corner was all this other underwear that was a bunch of princess underwear, and that's when I was it put like two and two together, right? And I was like, holy, <laughs> this dude literally has. A bunch of princess underwear. So I decided like to go and... Like boxers? Shorts are like panties. No. Panties. Like, I don't know if they're women's or girls, but it doesn't matter. They're not for men. And also, why are you wearing princess underwear? So printed and princess, especially over the phone, sound really similar. And I think you said printed at first, or that's what you thought it was. She and then when you got a closer printed. look, yeah. it was princess yeah. underwear. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of guys wear printed under- sure. underwear yeah. with prints. It's not well, that yeah. unusual. Like I mean, are we talking, or- you know, Little Mermaid? Are we talking? All of them. Because oh. when he went to the shower, I was like, I got to figure this out. So I started going through his drawers. Oh, Jesus. And I found that he's got a bunch of princess underwear, Moana, Cinderella, Snow White, all of them. That's all he wears. But that's, his, that's his thing. Wow. That's okay. a thing. Okay, Andy? You know what? You got a lot of balls going through my stuff. What the heck is that? You know, you're going through my <laughs> That's just extremely rude. And you know what? I'm just turned off by that. I don't want anything to do with her. I want nothing to do with you. Forget this whole thing. Andy, can we ask you this without putting you on the defensive? You know, you wouldn't be the first guy to wear women's underwear, but help us understand that the Disney princess underwear, I, I don't get that. Do you collect, like, can you shed like, a little light? Like, why do you have them? I have them. First of all, they're, they're, they're for men. It's not just women. Okay, let's get that straight. And I love Disney characters. <sighs> so these are yours. You bought them for yourself. So you have other yes. ones besides princesses you got some tiggers some winnie the poos you got a goofy i got a whole i got a whole bunch you got sword in the stone okay okay so you're into disney characters yeah and it's not limited to disney princesses like rafiki is on there okay there was no rafiki no aladdin no anything else besides disney princesses so I'd love to hear as to like why it was like that that day. But I have to look this up. I need to know what these look like. But Andy, you contend that this is underwear made for men? Yes, it's made for men. Huh. So, oh. I've never seen them in a store. I but am, they probably make them somewhere. Well, you can buy them online because I'm looking at them right now. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's just 
it's not my thing. Like, I'm sure there's somebody else out there that would totally be into this. I never was into Disney princesses, and it, it's not a turn on for me. So, aye, aye, aye. yeah, I okay. just, I don't know how to put it. it, it do whatever you want to do. Just to me, I'm not into it. Yeah. Okay. okay. We found some Scrooge McDuck ones. Yeah, they have Ooh, one with Scar fun. from The Lion King on here. It's very interesting things happening. I had no idea. Hmm. I will tell you, there is a huge, tremendous amount of people that love Disney, and it's not just women. So that's maybe true. that's what this is coming from. I don't know. As long as they're his. <laughs> you know He's what I mean? Lied. Right. Like, you know right. what's going through my mind. Yes, of course. I mean, as weird as that is, right. I, I was somehow comforted by that. Right. You know? But there's nothing nefarious going right. on here. Absolutely. They're mine. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we appreciate you hanging in there with us, Andy. A lot of guys would have just hung up. Yeah, I just had to, you know, do my piece, you know, say my part because, you know, she's trying to ruin my reputation. I, I don't like that. I am not trying to ruin your reputation. You wanted to know why she I didn't follow up with you. She came on here accusing me, accusing me of stuff. I mean, what? She might as well just go through my laundry, go through everything. Well, you know, she wasn't accusing you of stuff. anything. She just didn't, you know, she's just not into it. She yeah, just thought it, it was weird. my thing. Yeah. Also, you being defensive doesn't look good. So I'm just letting you know. Like, it just seems well, like you've got I, something to hide. Let me tell you something. If anybody was in my shoes and were on the radio and then you're, you're saying things about me, what, I'm just going to be quiet and not say anything? So I got to clarify <laughs> things. You would do that too if you were in this situation. So, okay, I Andy, I wish you well. I wish I'm you the best on. of luck. You yeah, got I, it. Whatever. Bye. All right, Cinderella. Bye. <laughs> Okay. All right. If you need our help, the second date update, just send us an email, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. I'm guessing Tim will be wrapping up the mom and pop I spot. Oh, very soon. soon. He's uh, He's been working on that quite a bit. Very committed. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. We just, uh, we just laid down our voice part, so I think he's putting the final touches on that. And then uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG.